If you've ever looked at a post frame building, you've seen the differences that steel can have and what each company will talk about their steel. So in this video, I'm going to get away from the words and perform three tests to show the differences of steel. So from a tearing test to a denting test to even shooting a steel with a shotgun. My name is Kurt Baylor, and I'm the VP of Marketing at FBI Buildings. The first test today was a screw tear test. And this test was really to measure the strength of the steel from ripping. So we took a screw, fastened it into wood with two clamps on both sides and pulled that steel apart until the screw ripped through the steel. This is really measuring strength from wind hitting the building or a vehicle hitting the building and how much um, pressure that steel can hold up to. As you can see at the results of the first test, we found that Menards was clearly in third place with an average of 772, with Morton and FBI coming in really close at 1082 and 1090. We did three of these ripping tests for each steel, and Menards had the biggest variance between all three of a couple hundred pounds per square inch difference, with Morton's having a little bit of a difference of about 100 pounds, and FBI being the most consistent at not having any variance bigger than 50 pounds per each sheet of steel that we tested. The second test we did was a drop dent test. And this test is really to simulate denting from hail or rocks or any other projectiles that might hit your building in regards to the strength the steel has. We took three different ball bearing sizes and dropped them from eight feet high to measure the amount of damage and the amount of dents that each sheet of steel took. As you can see in this test, Menards and Morton performed fairly closely in regards to the amount of damage and dents that each sheet of steel took, with FBI coming out on top with the least amount of damage to each sheet of steel. And this really shows the difference of yield strength or PSI for each sheet of steel, with FBI having 80,000 PSI, which is a harder, more rigid piece of steel, which holds up to hail or rocks in that steel, versus Menards and Morton being a lower PSI or yield strength, closer to the 40,000s, can dent a lot easier as we saw with this ball bearing test. Test number three is the shotgun test. And this one was really all about testing the unknown and what would happen if you took a shotgun from 100 feet and shot three different panels of steel. After test three, we really couldn't measure the amount of damage taken by dents as each piece of steel received a significant amount of denting. So what we really had to do was measure the amount of holes that each panel of steel took. Menards came in last place with 24 holes with FBI having 13 and Morton actually having zero. And what we found with this was this really came into a gauge factor with Menards having a similar gauge to FBI at 29 gauge, but a lower yield strength which created more holes being punctured through with the shotgun test. FBI having a 29 gauge, but an 80,000 yield strength, gave it a little bit of a stronger intense, but still had 13 holes. And Morton having a 26 gauge, 
give it this more strength to not have a single hole poke through, um, which really shows the benefit of a thicker steel in regards to a shooting test. So in conclusion, after all the tests, we found out with the first test, being the screw tear test, that Menards are performing the worst with FBI and Morton being very similar with the strength of the steel from a ripping standpoint. In the second test, the ball bearing drop test, we found that FBI performed better than Menards and Morton in regards to the amount of dents and the, the thickness of each dent. With the third test, the shotgun test, we found that Morton performed the best without a single hole, with FBI coming in second and Menards a distant third. So overall, what this really shows is the, the advantages of yield strength or PSI and gauge. With Morton winning the shotgun test because of a thicker gauge, FBI winning the drop dent test because of a higher yield strength, Menards losing all three tests as they have a lower yield strength and a lower gauge than Morton and FBI does. In the end, steel is a integral part to each building, but it isn't the only part that comes in play with your post frame building. So be sure to check out things like the paint that goes on the steel, from the screws to the lumber to the trusses being built. There are many facets that go into each post frame building and steel is one, but make sure you continue to look into all the other components that each builder uses. Thank you so much for watching our video. For more content like this, be sure to subscribe below. If you want to follow our Instagram and Facebook pages, you can click above. And remember, always build with confidence.